the basis upon which men can be saved by the grace of God is that they can't save themselves. That's the message we preach. Christ had to do the work. That's the atonement. He had to do it. And so this is now preached as a gospel that Christ finished the work here. So he, he has determined the sentence on humanity of death. The wages of sin is death. And there's none righteous. But instead of executing that sentence immediately, which he should have done 2,000 years ago, when Israel rejected him, Israel was the only place that God had promised to give them blessing. And they rejected him. So there was no one on the earth that was able to respond to God in faith. At that moment, according to prophecy, and all the prophets predicted this, that God would come back in judgment to destroy those who did not believe and set up his righteous kingdom and forever remove sin and death from the planet. But he didn't. Sin remains. Death remains. And people remain. And his kingdom isn't yet here establishing righteousness on the face of the earth. Why? He sentenced all men to death. He, he, he already declared he would bring, come back in judgment. In fact, Peter and the apostles, Jesus himself, prophesied that he would come back in judgment. Right, right before his kingdom. He would judge the world. There's his kingdom over here in righteousness. And he would judge the world in flaming fire and vengeance over here before the kingdom came. That hasn't happened yet. And so what's going on here? Well, this is this dispensation of the grace of God. He has dispensed what he did. This was not simply uh, the last straw or some means to condemn Israel, though that was the case as well. It is now preached as the means through which all men can be saved. Amen. Right? He's the grace. He is saying, you all deserve judgment, but I'm not going to execute the sentence. I'm withholding it and saying you have until this time, which nobody knows, your death or when he returns, to be saved by God's grace. Amen. Right? He's offering salvation. He's saying, here's how you can be delivered from the sentence. Right? The analogy just breaks down at this point as far as paying your bills, of course, but because Christ already paid the bill back here. But he does require that you believe it. He requires that you believe it.